hi all uh, welcome back to trekking technologies uh, please like subscribe share our channel and also don't forget to comment your queries and feedbacks and also join telegram channels if you have any queries so that you will get the solutions for your questions so today i'm just um, going to uh, talk about devops and the project okay so this is the first session okay like first session in the sense this is the first idea okay so how you need to start your devops projects okay so this uh, devops project series i'll be doing it in in the english okay so how um, it works okay so whenever you are going for the devops project first you need to decide on your infrastructure okay so what you need to decide okay so are you deploying that in your vms are you deploying that in on the kubernetes are you deploying with the ecs and also when you are deploying okay decide your cloud what cloud you are deploying like are you going for aws are you going for azure or are you going for the gcp why it is very important to choose your cloud okay because this is where you are deploying your infrastructure and whenever you are talking about the automation this is very very important okay so whenever you are talking about infrastructure okay so we are not going to do it manually so whoever are watching or whoever are trying for the job in devops try to get this infrastructure automation like uh, infrastructure as a code that is using a terraform okay so you, you can use terraform or you can go with the uh, uh, cloud specific tools like cloud formation or Azure's um, um, deployment tools or GCP's um, uh, infrastructure as tools. Okay, so Terraform will work on all the clouds. Okay, so it's better option. Like this is the best option, and uh, uh, this is the current running market option because there are the organizations like they are using multi-cloud. No one is using a single cloud. So it's better like you uh, learn terraform and it's better if you know terraform already so this really helps and it will uh, really increase the chances to get into the jobs okay and also whenever you are thinking about your project okay first you need to have your project in place okay so you need to have your project in place you need to know who is the client and who are all the customers for that client means for example you are if you are working for any e-commerce uh, client like flipkart or amazon okay so we are the customers for them right so you need to think in this perspective and you need to create your pipelines or the automation or the infrastructure or the application or the deployment okay so whatever you call it as okay so first thing is first you need to go for the infrastructure okay so without infrastructure you are not going to do anything okay so in first place decide your cloud like i said okay and make sure you know that cloud okay so for example if you are going for the AWS, make sure you know AWS for DevOps. Nothing but you need to know the IAM policies or rules, S3, and you need to know EC2, and also you need to know VPC. Okay, so these four are the minimum uh, requirements if you want to become a DevOps engineer. Okay, so in any cloud, okay, it's not only in AWS. Okay, so if you need to know the uh, storage and uh, how to launch your uh, VMs and what is a VPC, and also what is your identity access management okay so whatever cloud it is but i am going specifically with aws okay so these these uh, four um, options or resources or services you should know okay so without this you cannot go into the devops uh, like role okay or devops job so here the first job is to launch your infrastructure okay so you have decided your cloud okay so decide whether you are going for the ec2 or you are going with the kubernetes okay so any one of the options okay so here you need to automate this okay so using terraform okay please automate this using terraform only okay and this should be integrated with your ci tool okay so whatever the ci tool you are using this should be integrated with this terraform so here what are the things you should know to start your devops okay so basically you should know linux that is for sure okay so and also you need to know your ci tool that might be your jenkins and also you need to know your terraform and also you need to know how to integrate this terraform to the ci tool and this should come from github like your code should come from github and this should be deployed on your cloud that is aws okay so this is your choice if you want to go with the ec2 or the kubernetes it's totally your choice okay so this is the first step okay this is the first step and you need to make sure like how you gonna work on this okay so this is the scenario 
so i if, if you're already practicing or if you're going for any training for the devops okay so this is the first scenario you should work on okay so how to deploy your infrastructure and how to automate that deployment or like how to automate that infrastructure deployment or uh, using the tools like iac that is infrastructure as code or cloud formation okay so this is the first scenario or the first pipeline you would say okay so after that like we'll see how we build okay so uh, after that what you need to do okay so this is just a five minutes video okay so like this we'll be doing a lot of videos like what kind of infrastructure you need to do and how to do that and also one more important thing is this if you want to deploy it on ec sorry eks okay so this is already existing in our channel you can go and check eks tri tree search for eks tri tree you will get that video and you can go and check that video and you can deploy that using terraform but your job is to integrate that terraform code i have also given the code in the description go and check that code copy that code run that code you will have your aws eks but how you are doing this from the ci is what the important thing is okay so hope you guys will do this and um, do comment and also give your suggestions to do like to do more number of uh, devops project ideas thanks for watching this video have a great day bye